Well, 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 fancy meeting you here, Eastern Carolina. It's a fabulous Sunday. I hope everybody's having a great Labor Day weekend as we step into the work week. Who could have guessed it? it's going to get a, another busy week ahead of us as we head back to work. It's always that much harder as you head back to work, but at least the weather's going to be on our side as we step into this week. Check it out. High pressure in control. We're pushing all those clouds out. We're actually feeling that nice northerly wind. The boaters, uh, they're not too happy about it. You can't really get out there and con that boat when you have uh, those winds out of the north, about 20 to 30 miles per hour off the coast. So those along the coast know exactly what I'm talking about. It's breezy out there. You live in further inland, it feels perfect. I mean, like a fall day out there, we're stealing our weather from portions of Pennsylvania, Virginia. Get out of here, Mother Nature. It feels fabulous. We'll take another three days. Here's a look at the hurricane season. We're inching forward into the peak and I know we had a close call, but that's one of those uh, setups where you see the close call and then you kind of forget about it and you're thinking, you know, we're done with the hurricane season. Not really the case. We'll start to see this really starting to pick up as we head through the next half month or so. So here's a look at the disturbance off the coast of Africa right now. We're starting to see some cloud coverage build up with this disturbance as it moves just to the northwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. There we will really start to see it developing because those water temperatures are quite warm. Now here's a look at the conditions closer to home. Everybody's out there enjoying the beautiful shot over Emerald Isle. If you want to tonight, I would head on out. If you got Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday off this week, they're looking at uh, fabulous days to hit the beach. Just keep in mind with that northerly wind around, although it's high right now, that's picking up the rip current threat, especially as you work your way closer to Duck Cape Hatteras. So down to the south, it's looking like picture perfect conditions. You got two thumbs up from me. I'll actually see you out there. Here's a look at the temperature outlook by the Climate Prediction Center. Still sitting slightly below average as we move forward. So heading into the new month, we're going to keep these cool temperatures around feeling more like fall. How about the rain though? Is it going to be a washout? Not really the case. We will see a slight uptick in the precipitation chances just because we're going to see these kind of stationary boundaries stalling out to the south. So if you're living inland, you're living in Greenville, parts of Kinston, your weather is going to be fabulous as we step into the new month. You're just going to feel a lot more of those overnight lows pushing down that cool air. Here's what's going on. The stationary boundary park to the south. High pressure is working its way across the northeast. Eventually, all eyes are set on this cold front. This cold front is really going to kickstart our fall. And it only makes sense because tomorrow is meteorological fall. Here's a look at tomorrow morning's temperatures. We're starting out in the upper 50s inland. A little bit warmer as you slide close to that sea breeze, but it feels fabulous out there. The breeze is going to slowly drop for those inland. Those living along the coast is going to pick up just a little bit. High temperatures by tomorrow afternoon. We're looking at the low 80s. Nothing problematic there. Future track just showcasing that northerly wind. Low pressure staying well off the coast. Really nothing problematic problematic as we head through the next 24 to 48 hours. Hope you guys are having a great but safe weekend. Check out those temperatures on your seven day forecast. Don't forget about it. And also models are starting to shave off some of that rain Thursday and Friday. So we may just be dealing with some sunshine by the time the blitz rolls around.